Hello guys and welcome back to a new Applied Energy Logistics 2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a further look to the Fluid P2P Tunnel. And the Fluid P2P Tunnel, you need two of them, um, one on each side and um, you can use it in a subnetwork uh, like me. For that you need only a, some, a, K, a powered cable, a powered ME cable or you can use it with uh, in combination with your ME controller. And um, on, uh, you need to configure it with a memory card, a shift and right click on the, um, on the input side and you get a frequency AD47 on, on the right side. You need to right click and to copy that uh, frequency. Okay, on the left side, on your input side, you need to place next to your um, tunnel a tank or, uh, or something where you store in your, um, your liquid for example. And um, you can place um, in the, some uh, liquid for, um, for that uh, on the white right side you need a pipe to extract your fluid. Now you can need to configure that pipe and you can see that you have um, filled in 1000 um, um, millibuckets of water on your on the white right, output tank. And um, yeah, that's how you can transfer um, fluids over your um, applied P2P tunnels. Thanks for watching and bye.